So I've been trying to get rid of these notes. But before I get rid of it, let me tell you about it. I want to tell you about the notes I took on Cap Show because I think it's a great AI tool that is going to be seriously utilized this year. A lot of uh, different networks have already been utilizing it, but I need everybody who listens to She Gets a Pod to know about it. All right, y'all, this is going to be a quick run through, a bonus, of course. Um, I just wanted to get people on the same page with what's going on with AI and podcasting. So we see that we see that uh, Riverside.fm is allowing podcasters to transcribe their episodes, which is great for free, meaning you can put the words to the mp3 or the voice recording of your episodes great let me tell you what cap show is doing cap show is an online content tool that works off of recorded audio it's a new ai copywriting software for podcasters and it basically makes their lives easier It creates multi-level podcast promotional digital components, such as your Facebook and IG captions, LinkedIn promotion, TikTok promo, promo emails, blog posts, quick quotes from what you said in the episode, YouTube descriptions. It transcribes your episode word for word. And I tried it. It's excellent. It gives you episode descriptions, something that some podcasters hate coming up with. Episode titles, it gives you ideas for episode titles if you can't come up with some. It thinks for you after hearing your episode. And if you hate or struggle with write-ups, it's a great tool to help you with that. I think it's fast, it's easy, and it's a quick marketing tool for people who do not like the process of podcasting after you record it. And I think it's good to maximize your time for podcast managers or agencies who do various different shows at the same time. Now, it's not going to be completely free, okay? You can try it for free, but the starter package is $30 per month. The growth package is $60 per month. And the pro package is everything for $90 per month, okay? And if you want help for a monthly live podcast growth masterclass. I think that's in the pro. And my thing is, it's going to help you question, are you monetizing in a smart way? How many episodes per month are you actually doing? Will this be a tool or will this be something for you to throw away money in? And I think you really have to ask yourself, how consistent are you really going to be in order to use this? But I think it's pretty good for people who do not like the process. So for me, because I do multiple shows, I do like the process of coming up with the information. And I do like exploring different things. So maybe I won't use this as much. So maybe for me, i probably start with a starter package if I wanted to. I think if you're looking to do multiple things and not just podcasting, this is a great tool. So let's go over my pros and cons of this. Glad you guys are still listening to the show. If you are looking to support a Black woman, <laughs> please check out 1977hustlelane.com. That is my girl Jayla's company of workout gear, comfy gear, bras, tanks, um, pants, shorts, whatever you're looking for, hoodies, she got it on there. Also check out protectyoyoenergy.com. Everything's on there. Hats, t-shirts, hoodies, uh, bags, kits that you get to go ahead and self-care, tips, all of that. Just, it's, just, it's just a peaceful place, okay? Because we are supporting Black women, okay? We are supporting creators. We are supporting women making something for themselves. And I'm so happy that women are constantly evolving despite what is against them because that's what we do. Now back to the show. And we're back. All right. So the pros and cons of Cap Show, in my opinion, is uh, the pros. It's random. It's creative. 
And I think if your podcast is creative and not so predetermined, I think this tool will keep you on your toes. And I don't see this tool replacing any content that you're going to come up with. But if you're lazy and your podcast is so predictable and it's just like the same conversation that the next 10 podcasters are having, this tool will be able to replace you because it's going to make you not important. Okay. I think a pro of it is it cuts down on time, um, that you have to do all that comes in with podcasting after you record it. It can save you money and prevent you having to depend on people to do the write-up, to do the um, transcribing, to send you this file. Hey, email, did you send it yet? Like you don't have to worry about that. It's all in the tool. And it picks out key insights and quotes that you already said by yourself, by your mouth in the episode. So it makes it really original and it gives you episode credits the more you use it, okay? So if you're looking to grow your own podcast show, check it out. Now, the cons of it is it will make you lazy over time. You'll be more dependent on it, I think, because it's so efficient and it's so fast. You will become a bit more calculated as to what you're going to do, how you're going to format it. And if your show, like I said before, is duplicatable, I don't know if that's a word, but it should be. Um, It will be easily copied because everybody's going to be talking about that same topic because you're really not separating yourself from the bunch. Um, And it can be an extra monthly expense if you're not keeping up with the consistency of how many shows you should be putting out. So really, if you want to use a tool on CapShow, please think, am I going to be doing four plus episodes per month? Or do I think I only do one or two? If you think you're going to do one or two, you probably don't want the pro package. Go ahead and get the $30 package. But who who am I to tell you what to do? I'm just a podcaster out here keeping you in the know. Thank you for listening to She Gets a Pod. Peace.